Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of Pseudos Crochet and More. This is your host, Crystal. Today we're going to do a review on the Lamb's Pride Worsted. This is an 85% wool, 15% mohair blend. It is 4 ounces or 113 grams, approximately 190 yards or 173 meters. It does recommend a needle size of eight, so I'm gonna go ahead and use my, this one here. If this doesn't work out, this is a tapered Pride's um, wave hook. It is a five millimeter, which is an H8, and see how it works up. If this doesn't work, I will be going to use my Susan Bates hook. Let me go ahead and put this up here. Susan Bates 5.5 backwards there we go I don't know if you can see that but this is the 5.0 so if this that other one doesn't work I'll use that one all right now let me go ahead and and oh just to let you know the washing instructions on this says to hand wash in cool water using your favorite wool shampoo and an eighth of a cup of vinegar. Rinse thoroughly, adding one eighth cup of white vinegar to the last clear rinse. Roll gently in a towel to remove excess water. Do not twist or wring and lay flat to dry. Press with cool iron if needed. Now this is um, spun and dyed by the Brown Sheep Company in Mitchell, Nebraska. And it is a four weight. It's called Violet Fields, color M161. All right, now this one, I did only get one of them. Um, let's see, does this have no, that's not it. All right, so let me go ahead and bring my camera down to the my desk. I'm gonna try my best to keep in focus with the, um, this almost looks like it might be roving. Look at that, inside here. Doesn't that look kind of roving? On the outside, it didn't look like that, but now I'm looking at it and it does look like a roving style yarn, if you can see that. This is picking up more like a purple for whatever reason. Now that's too dark, but that's more true to color. So, all right. Now I know I like to center pull, but I think I might actually I don't know. Do I want to center pull on this because it is a roving style? I'm getting, getting to realize that a lot of wool yarns are roving style. Let's see. Let me take this off of here. Stick that back in there. I'm trying to see if I can find the outside part. I am recording this on March 5th. 2023. I did purchase this on March 4th, 2023 from the A Likely Yarn Store. Um, that is a store that I will have to go back to because they do, the lady that was working um, could not give me permission to video inside the store. I will have to reach out to the owner before I can do that. It does actually look like they kind of twisted the outside yarn with the inside. Okay, so under the label, it was set up to, so you can see this is definitely roving. Let's see, so it went from that to that, to thinner, to thinner, okay. I'm gonna do a chain of 15 and then go from there with that. Like I said, I'm gonna try this one again. I've tried this hook in the past on another review, 
Um, but I really, at that point, I did not care for it, but let's try it again. One, two, three, four, All right, so there's 15 chains. I'm gonna do a row of single, half double, double, triple, and a special stitch that I like using here recently. So what are you working on today? What's in your cup? Are you drinking coffee? You're drinking tea? You're drinking soda? Let me know. Are you working on any special projects right now? You getting geared up for summer? You still working on some past projects? Trying to pull out some more here from the center. I didn't think I would be able to do this, but it's working, so. <clears throat> I'm working on the uh, Jada and Stitches calendar blanket. Um, I'm not too sure about the design that she came up with this month. I, I, I do appreciate that she's taken her time to come up with the design. Um, it is a, cl a four-leaf clover. To, to me, it doesn't really look like a four-leaf clover. If you just do the design that she has, it looks more like you could do like diamonds with it, like green diamonds for the month of March. Or if you fill it in completely, it might look, you know, closer to a four-leaf clover. That's just my opinion. Everybody has their own opinion. And again, like I said, I'm not, you know, trying to be, up, you know, mean or upset with the pattern that she has this month. It's just not, was it, not what I was expecting, to be honest. But again, she's taking her time and I'm going to try what she has created um, on a swatch and when I do that swatch I'm gonna go ahead and post it on the community tab so you guys can see what it looks like by filling in all the uh, empty spaces that she has on the pattern because she did give that as an option like the heart if you went and filled in the entire heart you would get a different look than if you just did the outline of the heart so I will go ahead and do that and then show you what I what it looks like for me and then if so you can decide whether or not you want to do it that way all right so here is and you can definitely see how it goes from thick to thin oh here we go thick to thin on the single crochet go ahead and do the half double and then I've got some fuzz here turn and you will see this video on Thursday, March 9th. Oh, wow. Yeah, March 9th. Okay, so I'm not sure. You um, might want to go up a hook size because it does go from thick to thin. I'm getting into a thicker spot here and the five millimeter is not really working out great for me. It's kind of too, too small in my opinion, but it does go to that thick to thin. Um, and I might not do the rest of these I might not I might just do the single and half double and then that special stitch so we can see I'm trying to keep these videos no more than 30 minutes long um, right now for the reviews now this is softer than what I was expecting and I'm not sure if that has to do with the mohair or if it's just the way that this was done that makes it softer. You could do a sweater or cardigan with it, but I would suggest 
using a shirt underneath. It's soft, but probably not the softest because it's not, you know, the super wash style. Right. And then we go back to thin. You could probably see this when I show you here when I'm done with this row of where it was thick and then it went back to thin. And that means it's good st stitch definition in my opinion if you can see that. If you can't, then it's not. One more stitch here. And then I'm going to do that special stitch just to see how that works up. All right, so there's my half double crochet row. And as you can see that, well, you're gonna see my stuff that you don't need to be seeing, but you know, all right, there, stop. Okay, so as you can see here on how thin that looks and it kind of looks kind of tight, that's the single. And then these are the half double, you can tell that it got thick right here and then started going thinner as you went down the row. From that end to that end, how thick and thin it looks. It's all the same yarn, it's just the style of yarn it is that makes it look like that. All right, so let me go ahead and pull some more yarn out here. I'm not sure if this, you know, would be something that I would repurchase again. But okay, so maybe this one's not gonna get that stitch. I'll do half double or double crochet. This hook's not working out for that. So I would recommend going to maybe a five and a half, maybe even maybe a six with the the way that the yarn works. Now I had no trouble using the recommended hook size for the Gina yarn by Plymouth Yarns but for this one it's not it may be because the US 8 for or for the knitting needles would actually be closer to a 6 or a 5.5 .5 crochet hook I don't like when they don't give the crochet recommendations for the hook but you know such is life. I wonder if my d husband took out the dogs. I would have helped him, but I wanted to get these videos done. And if you haven't watched my unbagging um, of what I purchased on my trip to a Likely Yarn, I will go ahead and post that in the description box below, as well as the other two yarn reviews that I've done from this trip. Now there are some extra things in there that I did purchase from Hobby Lobby because we stopped there on the way home um, after grabbing another bite to eat um, that I will go ahead and link as or that I will review the, the items that I purchased which were hooks at a later date. I just wanted to get these uh, yarns reviewed first. Has anybody ever used this? yarn before if you have what did you make out of it what how did you like the yarn did you like the roving style do you not care for roving style yarns um let me see almost done with this row and then i'm gonna go ahead and try to frog it and see how it frogs the special stitch that i'm talking about it i do believe is the half not the half the double crochet herringbone stitch or herringbone double crochet. I'm not sure how it's actually, I think it's herringbone double crochet um, stitch. I did use those in my other reviews, but I'm not going to be able to do it on this one unless I change the hook size. All right, so pretty good stitch definition. Again, you can see where it got kind of thin right here, because you can see there's a gape, and then it kind of went, you know, the thickness was better over here. I think this is why some people don't like roving style because it goes from thick to thin back to thick and it can make your stitches look not so neat and tight 
Um, that, that's what it looks like there. All right, so now I'm gonna go ahead and frog it. I am gonna go ahead and, depending on how the frogging works, I am gonna go ahead and give this an eight. Um, I do believe the price could be a little bit less, um, but then again, it is at a local yarn store and it, they wanna make sure that they're able to provide you with the yarn and also be able to continue to offer different options from the yarn, the different yarn companies out there. Um, it is, how many yards was it? Approximately 190 yards in this, which is pretty good. I would, I almost want to say that there might be more than that, but that's why they say approximately. Because it is roving, it might be harder for them to give an exact on the yardage. And it, it also might go by the weight of it and figuring, okay, well, these yarns at regular um, one weight all the way through, if they weigh this much, they're about this many yards. So, all right. Uh, let's see. So price mm, could have been a little bit lower. It was $14.95 for the hunt, approximately 190 yards, and it is roving. Um, they do give the two options of how you want to see. This was this this here was wrapped around the middle part right here underneath the label and it was kind of tucked in so i wasn't even sure where i was starting like was i starting on the outside was i starting in the inside then i realized oh i was starting on the inside so i'm just going to go ahead and wrap this back around the outside and then put the try to put the well if I don't knock my camera down again, put this on the label here. And I don't know why it's picking up pink now, because it was picking up purple earlier. But, okay, so back to my score. So the feel, I'm going to give it uh, an 8. For price, I'll give it a 6. Um, for yardage and all that, and because of where I purchased it from, again, it is going to wind up being a little bit more than, there we go, than, um, what you would probably pay directly from the brown sheep company. And I don't see, they don't have an actual website, so you may not actually be able to buy directly from them. Let me see. Oh, there we go. And let's see. Brown Sheep Company. They actually have a store in Mitchell, North, Nebraska. Hmm. Okay. Let's see. I will go ahead and link them below as well so you guys can check out what else they offer at the Brown Sheep Con Company um, and as well as a likely yarn. So if you want to check out what else they offer in their store, you can de definitely check them out. I would think that they would ship uh, within the U.S. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to ask those questions because the owner wasn't there. Um, to whether or not they would ship outside of the U.S. So let's see. Shop. Let's see. Roving, roving, roving. Let's see. Uh, worsted. That's interesting. They don't specifically have... Okay, wool and mohair, that's what this one is. <laughs> oh, 
Okay, so if you were to purchase the wool and mohair lamb's pride in hank form on their website at Brown Sheep Company, it is $14.60. So it is actually pretty close to what you would pay from them directly. So just for a few more pennies, you can get it from a local yarn store and have it delivered in a skein form instead of a hank. All right. Well, if there, I hope you all enjoyed this today. Uh, if you did, please give me a thumbs up. If you've ever used this yarn, please go ahead and let me know how what you thought of the yarn, what you made with it. I really like to see what everybody's made with these different yarns that I've never tried, just to give me some ideas of what I could use it for. And if you like my content, please go ahead and subscribe and remember to hit that notification bell so you're always alerted when a new video is released. All right, well, I hope you all stay safe and stay crafty. And until next time, have a great day.